Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Astro AI brand, their digital clamp multimeter, 4,000 counts, auto ranging, AC, DC, voltage and current, resistance, capacitance, frequency, continuity, live wire test, NCV detection, and lifetime technical support from the company. Now it used to be years ago that you had to spend several hundred dollars on a, a multimeter but not anymore. Now they're available and this is a great product and a great example of some high-tech engineering. This is unique because normally these clamp type of meters only have some really basic functions. This has a lot of function. It has an LED front light, a lit display, a zero button, a lot of things on here and it comes with all the cables you need. This has a lot of functionality. I was really impressed with this and that's why I bought it because I wanted to be able to have something small profile that can do multiple things. And it comes with this really nice holder which has a handle on there. I want to point out that it comes with batteries already installed which is nice. So and it has the cables right here. So let's just go over some of the basics. There is a flashlight on here but first let's just put it to the first setting and it comes up the display right there. And you have a you have a zero button. You can always zero out before you take a measurement. And you see right here when you hit that button right there then this lights up like that and if you hold this down then it has a little forward LED. This is great if you're in a dark area and you're using the clamp it's perfect for that. We're going to show exactly how this clamp works and what it's going to do for you and uh, you then move across you've got uh, you've got uh, current right there 400 amps and uh, and here's 40 amps and then you have voltage right there and then it changes on the display to let you know what it's actually showing right there like that is millivolt so it's auto ranging then you have ohms continuity and ohms and then you have continuity right there where it's going to beep and it shows a diode because you can test a live diode and see whether it's working and what's really cool is it has hertz and um, pulse width so you, you we're going to put that across the ac yeah, we're going to look at that and then it has NC Live and that's going to allow you to detect electronics. So as soon as I go towards my studio and I go near something electronic, 120 volts, it's got that cool little display right there letting you know that you are approaching something that could be dangerous if you're not careful because it's 120 volts. Very nice. There's also a function button on here that allows you to step through different functions. You can see right there it's going to hertz and amps. So we can use that also along with that zero button. You have a max and minimal button right there so that you can hold the number that you get the reading until you take time to look at it. That's a very nice feature. And when you shut this off that little front light goes away to save the battery. Of course it has that nice clamp on here. It's got a real nice spring loaded feel to it. On the back is where you put the batteries and here's where the probes go and you can see that's common is there and the, the positive is right there. On the side there is a hold button that's going to hold the last value that it read. So we have the leads connected, the positive and the minus. And let's do the first basic thing. Let's go to the continuity test right there and you can see anytime it gets a certain continuity, low resistance, it will beep and it'll actually show you the resistance right there. And you actually get that little green LED which comes on which is nice. So here I have a little diode, diode uh, circuit and I'm on that diode position right there. And when it's conducting it properly it shows that it's 400 ohms in one direction and if I flip that around and there's no continuity anymore because the diode isn't being forward biased. So that's nice for checking out diodes in a circuit. Now another way to test a diode that this has built in is you go to that same setting and you hit the function button and you'll see that it has a diode and a voltage right there. Now you take the lead and one direction will forward bias the diode for testing 
and you can see it's giving me 0.19 volts. So right now this diode has 0.19 volts being forward biased. If I flip this around, then you don't get anything because it's reverse bias. So that's another way to test diodes if you don't want to rely on the resistance test I showed. Now we have it on voltage and the current right there, those two are using the current measuring through the coil itself. The voltage is using it going into the leads. So I can have it on voltage and I have it set to DC. Just an example, I can go across this battery in reverse direction and shows minus 1.6 volts. Now if you want to measure AC voltage, I'm back on voltage right there. I hit the function and then it goes to AC. And you could take these caps off the end so that you have a larger surface area. And I have this right across the 120 volts and it shows 121.5, letting me know the voltage. If I hit the function, it actually tells me the hertz, so it's about 60 hertz. That's a pretty cool function. Now I put it in the hertz and the percentage function right there. And I'm going to put it right across the 120 volts again. Let's see what we get. And it shows it's 63 hertz. And if I hit the function button, it's at 50% duty cycle. And that's exactly correct because the sine wave coming out from our power company is at 50% duty cycle, 60 hertz. So this is great if you're measuring uh, square waves or thing out of a signal generator, you could use that to get the percentage of on to off ratio. Here's another real cool function. When you're on the ohms, you see there's a capacitor symbol right there. So now it's measuring ohms as you'd expect. And when you short it out, it goes to zero. But if you hit the function button on the display, it has nanofarads. We're going to put a capacitor right across those leads. And now it went to microfarads and it shows 37.18 microfarads. And this actually is a 35, 36 microfarad capacitor. So that is really handy if you have a whole drawer full of capacitors that you don't know what they are. All you do is use that function and you'll be able to figure out what capacitance they are in microfarads or nanofarads. Now I'm back on voltage and I have it set to AC and I got the 120 volts again across the, my 120 volt line right here. Let's say I want to hit the hold button right there. The hold locks it in place and now it's showing me that reading. It's not moving around anymore. This is actually if you get a reading and you want to look at it before it goes back. Then you hit it again and it goes back to real time display. It turns the hold off. Here I have a LED light plugged in to the 120 volts and I have the conductors separated right here and they have the meter on the 40 amp setting and I want to try the coil so I put it in there just like that and I get a reading of 0.7 amps right there. And that's the correct amps for the wattage of that bulb. Now when you use it in this function, you notice I have the lead separated. You don't want to go across both leads like this because typically the currents will cancel each other. So you want to make sure that you're on one conductor. It could be either side, it could be the hot or the neutral, doesn't matter. And you get your accurate current reading. And you can hit the hold button just like that and lock it in place perfectly, just like that, real simple. And of course this meter very accurately measures resistance. So I had on resistance right there. And it's showing me the resistance. I got a box right here that's going from the high to the medium and to the low. So it allows you to measure any resistor in the circuit, or in this case, I'm measuring this resistance box, but that's a nice function it has also. And when you're done doing all your measuring, everything fits back in the nice holder, the leads, the instruction, the unit itself, and you just zip it closed. Now you're ready to bring it anywhere you need to take measurements. So after testing their Astro AI brand, their digital clamp multimeter, the 4,000 counts of auto ranging, so many functions on this, I'm really impressed with it for the size of how small this thing is, the profile, really, really nice. This is your one multimeter that you need to bring 
to wherever you're testing. This will do the job quite nicely. The quality of this build is really good. I like the case. The instruction manual was very well written and I tested all the functions and they seem to be really accurate. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. Hope the information I presented here helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.